Hello everybody, I'm doing a car seat review of the Cybex Sorona S. And this is an install and overview review. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on it, on specs and stuff like that. I'm just going to talk about my experience with it and installing it. So, first thing first, move it into position. You got to get the load leg out from underneath of it, like that. Bring it out here. And let it click until you see the green. I'm not going to worry about put, mounting it yet. Okay. And in order to put it in installation mode, there's a lever underneath here. Squeeze it, push it up, pull this cover off here. And then pull this lever up until you hear a click. Bring it over and that locks this up in that position. Pull this lever up here. And then you're going to run your seatbelt through this channel here. It's probably one of the more difficult car seats that I've had to install before. I've had a Nuna. I've had a couple Grocos. This one is takes the cake. The extra mechanism makes it more difficult. Put it in this groove channel here. This groove channel down here. I'm gonna bring this down. I'm gonna bring this tight. Bring it smooth. You gotta really kind of put some heft into it like that. And bring this down. And bring this lever down without pinching your fingers. And then bring it, push it down until you see this go down. It does not make a click sound. So just know that. And then you bring this kind of back down and into the position there. And you place this cover here. Something to kind of note that when I was installing it, I had gotten it off of the original time I had rotated it off. And then I was unable to bring it back into position and so I had to reach back here there's these two orange little dots you can press both of these and that releases the car seat and then you can just push it up again and it'll be back in position and then you can put on the cover and like that cover releases the car seat and the car seat is installed lock it out okay and then you can push it here and you can rotate it either this way into the inside towards maybe a provider on this side or maybe an adult one to look at the kids from inside the car. Sometimes it's kind of nice to be able to rotate that way, um, but you wouldn't want to do that while you're driving. So you can rotate it either way. You can rotate it all the way around like that. Uh, if you're in this position, there's a rear strap it's over here that needs to go back to the tether. Let me go back, so it goes back to there. Okay, back to this load leg. So you wanna make sure that it's extended out to its full position forward. And then you're gonna bring this down here until you bring it out all the way until you push it down until it gets green, full green, like that, there we go. So now it's locked in, and so your car seat is installed, except for if you're in rear facing position, you'd need to tether the back, but I don't use it rear facing, or forward facing, I'm sorry. If you're forward facing, you're gonna wanna do the tether. So again, here, there's a lever in there, you, Use your fingers, bring it towards you, that releases it. That's multiple positions here in the recline. You get two recline positions. So I'm going to push it forward, rotate it, bring it towards me, and talk about this. Um, something I thought I was going to like was these magnets, and they're not really that strong. So they just kind of fall off sometimes, so you have to be very careful. And they're a little bit higher up. I wish they were just a little bit lower. And then you wouldn't have to adjust the straps every time. Um, something that is annoying is this strap here 
gets in the way when you're trying to click it down because when you're trying to click it in here, fumble through it, this part sorry, backwards. This part goes here. This part gets in the way of here. All right, this is me putting my three-year-old in. She's about 32 pounds. It's a little bit of a reach. The car gets kind of in the way of reaching her in there. It's not too bad. Um, if you had a smaller car, it'd probably be a little bit be an easier reach then compared to other car seats. Something I notice, I was having a hard time with, sometimes when I'd pull this thing off and I'd press this down like this, this strap would get in the way of this. I don't like the car seat. It's because you're using this. What? And it's strapped to the car. No, it's not about the color. Is it uncomfortable? No. Why is it uncomfortable? Say hi to YouTube. Hi! Okay. Alright, and so I don't have to press anything to rotate it back to be facing. So then I have to rotate it there, and then there's a lever. If I want to go more recline, I can go more recline like that. Put your legs up, all the way up, straight, like that. She's about 34 inches tall, somewhere around there. She might be a little bit taller. She's kind of gotten a growing spurt recently, but her legs up there. It's not too bad, but the hard part is is that pressing this lever down here, and I have to push her all the way up, all 32 pounds of her, and rotate it. Um, not really the most ideal as far as for rotating. It's nice that it's versatile, but it's a lot, the Grokko is so much easier versus the Grokko turn to me. You just press the lever here, and it just rotates. There's no pushing, there's no worrying about pushing her up or anything, you just rotate it out. Yeah, I like that. Say goodbye, YouTube, Athena. Goodbye, YouTube. Blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. So, furthermore, my thoughts on this car seat of why it's not comfortable has a lot to do with the foam. One of my reasons why my daughter interrupted me again that it's probably not comfortable is this foam is so thin it's not very much cushion and you can kind of feel some of the plastic on there and it's just not it's got a really short seat section there um, maybe it's too tight on their neck here might be some of it but I my daughter's not much for crying in cars and loves to go in the car but she she did not like this car she, she cried every single time we thought that maybe it was her mood or something, but there was just something about this car seat. You know, you bring it down lower to her height. She's not two. She's about 22 months, something like that. When you bring it down, this comes down a little bit lower. And these magnets just don't hold. And so you get this down here. This flap comes down to just a, a weird spot. And that's at this height, which is just right for her. This just comes down really weird. It just doesn't match. I don't, I don't know. And then another thing, you only gave one cup holder? Come on. This probably cost a buck to make. You couldn't give two cup holders? Seems really silly. And then finally, once you got it installed, whatever side is facing you, you're going to press this button over here and make sure that it's locked. And there it is, all installed. Unfortunately, this is just a big waste of money, this thing, because it just, she doesn't like it. And the three-year-old doesn't like it either.